One of the foundations of machine learning is the data sets that it uses. There's this term we call garbage in, garbage out. And so if you give a model um, garbage, it will um, spit out garbage. Um, and while that may not seem much of a problem, if you're just maybe forecasting the weather, um, it is a problem because machine learning is becoming more and more pervasive in our society. It's being used to do a lot more um, than it's been done in the past. So for example, machine learning is used in the criminal justice system, being able to decide whether or not someone will commit a crime um, given their history. Or uh, machine learning is used in the banking industry when they want to decide whether or not to give someone a loan given their history as well. You also have machine learning in computer vision systems trying to do image recognition. And this could be used in um, for policing, for example. You have machine learning being used in the healthcare industry as well. And so when you think about the areas in which machine learning is being used, you have to start to wonder, um, how are these models trained? There was an article published by ProPublica several years back where they had looked into the criminal justice system and how machine learning was being used to predict the risk of recidivism, which is, will someone, given their rap sheets, their history, go on to commit a crime? And they had done this, and this, this model was used in the justice system, and they would, it would, the outputs were set in scores. So if you got a high score, then you would be denied bail. And if you got a low score, you, would not, you will be given the bail. And why is that important? If you are given bail, you have the opportunity to fight your case outside of the prison system. You have access to your lawyers, you have access to your family who's part of your support system. But if you're not given bail and you're remanded in prison, you're restricted to maybe a phone call a day, right? And you know you don't have access to some of the support st structure that would allow you to fight um, or to defend yourself. And um, what, what was seen was that the model was trained on a data that was heavily biased. Um, I mean, if you think about the criminal population in the U.S., for example, is majority black and brown. And so if you're training a model on a data set that is not biased, it starts to learn relationships that are biased. Model training in machine learning is really just trying to understand the patterns in the data sets. How do you associate some impute with some outcome? So now, if you have a data set that is majority black and majority, and the output is criminal, the, the model will be learning a relationship that black people are more likely to commit a crime. And in this specific case, that's exactly what was happening. And so they did a study and they realized that a huge percentage of the black men who had a high um, recidivism score actually did not go on to commit a crime. And so you start to think about things like that and think about how these men were treated unfairly because of an algorithm. And the more these algorithms are used in society, the more people trust them. And so it's really important that the data in which we are training these algorithms on are as balanced as possible. And this might seem like a, this is a very heavy example. Another thing that was several years ago, if you Google, it's corrected now, but if you search on Google um, CEOs, it was pictures of all white men and Barbie. And so you can imagine, um, because the search algorithm had been trained on pictures and pictures of men as CEOs, and the only example he had was a Barbie doll. And so you can imagine a young girl searching for CEOs and then not seeing any women. And we all know how representation matters. And so because these algorithms are becoming more pervasive in our lives, it's really important that we think very carefully about the data that is being used to train them and making sure they're balanced, making sure they're unbiased. And, and that way we can, in some way, it doesn't solve all the problems, but it goes a long way to make sure that we have algorithmic, algorithmic fairness um, and we can make better decisions.